Hi there, welcome to day five of my five day Pilates with tight hamstrings tutorial series. So today we are going to go over the scissors. Um, this is a very common exercise that I see people with tight hamstrings really struggling with. So Hi, my name is Gretchen, your virtual Pilates instructor, as well as founder of Balance to the Core. I am here every week with a new tutorial or new tutorial series. So if that's something that interests you, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it to be notified whenever I have a new video. I would love to have you part of the tribe. Okay, so today we are talking what can be called a single straight leg stretch or some call it the scissors. Either way, it's a lot on the hamstrings, okay? So if you're feeling all hamstrings in these exercises, it means your legs wanna take over the movement. So that means probably in your everyday movement, your legs are taking over the movement and you want your core to take over the movement. So we wanna sort of change the way your body is firing. We want your core muscles to take over the movement because they are your protectors. They're going to support you and they're going to make your everyday movement much more effective, functional. You're going to feel a lot stronger. And quite frankly, you're going to be a lot stronger. So how do we get you into your abdominals? How do we get you feeling that correctly? So let's go over the single straight leg stretch. <laughs> so I'm going to do the full version for you and then I'm going to break it down to modifications. So you notice that involved a lot of straight legs. Straight legs means a lot of hamstrings, right? So the first modification you can do, if you noticed, I held pretty low on my leg. What you can do is you can grab a little higher. So you can go behind the thigh, you can go behind the shin, just not behind the knee. And you can hold there and sort of do the switch, feeling the switch from your abdominals and doing it there. Now, if you're still not feeling your abs and you're still gripping onto the hamstrings, you can sort of soften the knee just a little bit. Because the key in the scissors is you want the legs as straight as possible, but if that doesn't work for you, just alleviate a little. Just be careful it doesn't start to go into the single leg stretch. That's another Pilates exercise. Really try to keep the legs equal and as straight as possible. The other modification I showed you yesterday is you can also place your hands under your hips to alleviate the low back. And you can try to keep those legs as straight as possible, keeping your head down, just switching from the abdominals, okay? And then if that's too much, you can soften the knees and do it that way. You eventually just wanna get your legs as straight as possible, really, because that's the benefit of this exercise is it's hard to keep those legs like rock solid straight and switch them from the abdominals. You're not going to get any benefit if you are pushing yourself into these exercises. Uh, I know a lot of us have a mentality that the harder you're working, or should I say the harder you're struggling, the more you're working, where that's not the case, especially with Pilates. It needs to feel almost natural. You don't want to grip anywhere. You don't want to stress the body anywhere. You want to move the body without stress and really have your abdominals taking over the movement. Not saying that's easy. It's actually very difficult to do, but it's not a struggle difficult. It's not a strain difficult, okay? So there's a sort of a difference. So the more that you can just focus on feeling the abdominals in the movement versus uh, trying to push yourself into the correct positioning, Modify, modify for what your body needs until you can get to that, that full version. And believe me, with consistent practice, your body's gonna get there. It just takes time. You gotta, you gotta just keep at it and be okay with it not happening overnight. And just being mindful that our bodies are different every day. So you're not gonna be able to do the same thing every day. And that's okay too. The key is be kind to yourself, listen to yourself, and don't be judgmental and just, just do it. If you want a full version of a Pilates for Tight Hamstrings workout, just hit the link below in the description and it will take you to a free workout where I give you modifications the whole time for tight hamstrings. So if you like this video, please give it a like, please share it with friends, subscribe to the channel if you don't wanna miss a video. I really enjoyed being with you here for the five days and I will see you again next week. Okay, take care.